The Kogi State Government has given the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission a 48-hour ultimatum to retract a statement that it returned 19.3 billion Naira bailout funds allegedly hidden by the state to the Central Bank of Nigeria or risk court action. The State Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kingsley Fanwo, who issued the ultimatum Sunday, accused the EFCC of implementing a hatchet job for certain interests ahead of the 2023 election. He insists that the state uh, knows nothing about the ownership and control of the said 19.3 billion naira, even as he challenged the EFCC to name the person who was drawing interest from the said fixed deposit account. The government for the ultimate time states categorically that it knows absolutely nothing about the ownership and control of the said 19.3 billion naira allegedly returned to the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Kobe State government also denies opening and operating a Kobe State salary bailout fixed deposit account number 00735726696, where the said funds were allegedly warehoused and dissipated and now allegedly returned to the CBA in support of the said deniers, the Kobe State government has published in national dailies and press releases letters from Sterling Bank PLC dated 1st September 2021 and 5th October 2021 respectively, wherein the bank stated as follows upon our challenge to the bank. Letter of 1st September 2021. I read, the Kobe State government does not currently operate or maintain a fixed deposit account with Sterling Bank. 